Hello, Internet. This is the root. I briefly had the chance to use, uh, or toy around with until it broke. I mean, really, it actually broke. Uh, remote control Mini Cooper. It was spotted on top of the electronic cycle bin, so I thought, mm, why not? See if it works. There was obviously a dead battery in the control, in the, uh, yeah, dead battery in the leaky battery of some sort. And a transmitter, so I swapped it with a rechargeable one. Worked fine. And, uh, the car? I rigged it up with two lithium-ion cells. Pretty much, uh, 1.4 volts higher than the recommended one. But I doubt that even had anything to do with it. It still had the same amount of push power it normally has. Maybe a few extra amps. It was going good until the gears stripped and the geared left and right turning motor. Yeah, the part that turns left and right. Those stripped. I kept turning a uh, click every so often when I was turning it eventually. That, that's probably why I threw it out, but I had my chance. I crashed into the wall multiple times over because it was shit, obviously. Because I was trying to turn it, but it wouldn't turn. It turned for a bit and then eventually it stopped. So, that was fun, while it lasted. It turned. I crashed it. Multiple times. It got pretty fucking fast, too. Pretty impressively fast, to say the least. I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. But, apparently not. It was faster than what I thought. It blazed. I could have just went full force, and I should have just done that anyway, when I realized the turning thing wouldn't work. Should have reassembled and crashed into the wall multiple times until it was battered. You know, without the actual car piece, it would have flown. I don't know why I didn't do that. But, I had a bit of fun. Then I took the batteries out. And, uh, put it back in the electronics recycle bin. Because, I couldn't figure, I couldn't even get the gearbox open. To figure, why, what the fuck was going on. You know how frustrating that can be. Yeah, it was glued together. There was clamps, but those clamps were glued with epoxy. And I don't have anything to get that epoxy off. So, I had to pretty much uh, dispose of it properly where I got it from. I was really hoping I could actually... It was repairable easily, but apparently not. I couldn't fix it. So, oh well. I had a bit of fun, and to the loose, that was it. It surrendered. And, uh, since I'm not a car enthusiast in that kind of manner, I may consider getting one in the future. Obviously electric. So I can race it up and down the street, where it's not going to get destroyed. Race it over the grass. Race it over whatever the fuck it is. And I don't care if it takes nickel metal hydride batteries. I can use it with lithium ion cells. As what I did. And it worked absolutely fine. So. Or maybe they got cheaper ones that take two batteries or three. Three would be a sweet spot. Because that's uh, pretty much instead of three alkalines. This one cell would have done it. And you know the most ironic part? The hobbyist battery compartments I have, literally the dual cell, because it was 6 volts, whatever. Otherwise, I would have poorly performed. Uh, that fits snug right where the original battery pack would have fit. So, holy moly. Was it designed for that? I don't know. Probably was. Maybe they intended people to actually use different batteries for different cells, or whatever. Or a hobbyist compartment besides their own original. I gotta look that up. Oh, if you're thinking I'm gonna probably get a drone, no. The wind uh, would not be a good thing, and that could probably totally destroy it. I'm not about to go through that again. I had, had a negative interaction of the wind, literally and totally destroying a drone. So, 
Even if it was a calm day, there's always that surprise one gust that can take it down. I'm going to be checking out some of these cheapy RC vehicles so I can have a bit of fun on my spare time. Maybe even attach my cube camera to it and, <laughs> and crash it right into a tree. Of course, the cube camera is just going to fly right off it. So, I don't know. I use Velcro to hold it on. That way it flies off and nothing happens to it. Okay, well... That's enough for that rambling. I'm a bit bored. But regardless, got work tomorrow, so yeah. And I gotta put together a time lapse. I'll get to that eventually. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Feel free to subscribe. It costs nothing. And that like button costs nothing either. It's just a simple click. Peace.